Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. So before we get into today's video, I have to let you guys know that I'm actually going to be leaving town. I'm gonna to be gone for a month. So it's gonna be really hard posting, but I have already filmed a couple videos and I'm just gonna space them out and post them while I'm gone. I'm gonna schedule them ahead of time because I'm not sure if I'm gonna have Wi-Fi where I'm going. But yeah, guys, I already have a couple videos planned out, so I should still be able to post. But yeah, just so you know, the reason I'm not answering any of your comments is I'm actually gonna be out of town. So yeah, I just wanted to film this short video just to let you know. And yeah, now that I've got that out of the way, let's get right into the video. this really sick spot it's a really shallow pond and there's a ton of little mosquito fish here so today I'm with Yasin and we're just gonna be trying to catch a bunch of tiny little bait fish and we're gonna feed these little mosquito fish to my pet peacock and we're gonna see if they eat for the first time in my tank they might be too stressed right now but hopefully they'll eat and yeah this is gonna be sick so let's just get right to it Okay, so we got two nets. I'm gonna be using the big net you seen yeah, over here. He's gonna be using that little net. And then we got this bucket. This is what we're gonna put them in. And then we're just gonna take them back to the tank and put them in. All right, so I'm just gonna set the camera up like right here. Okay, switch to the chesty, and we got the net. I see a bunch of them just all along the bank, so we're gonna take a couple scoops. Hopefully we can get some. Oh my gosh. I don't think I even got, oh, I got two. No, I got three, no way. Guys, this is what we're after, these tiny little mosquito fish. Let's put them in the bucket. See you, buddy. Alright guys, watch this. I'm about to catch literally a billion. Ready for this? Oh my god, there's so many over here. I just got like 20, dude. Yeah, I got a lot. Alright guys, there's so many little mosquito fish here. Look at all this. I just got like 10. Do you guys see all those? Guys, these are what we're after. These are just tiny little mosquito fish. Let's put them in the bucket. See, buddy? There we go, guys. Three more going in the bucket. Okay, so we, ow, something's biting my hand. <laughs> okay, so we just finished up here. We caught a ton of little minnows for the peacock bass. And yeah, we're gonna go home, get these guys in the tank and see if the peacock are willing to eat. So yeah, I don't know if you heard me, but we're gonna go back and feed these to the peacock. Hopefully they'll eat and let's just, let's see what happens. Alright guys, we made it back to the house. We got the bucket with a bunch of fish and we got this cup and what we're gonna do, we're going to pour out that bucket. Well, first of all, we're gonna fill this cup with water from this bucket and we're gonna pour all the contents of this bucket into the net, grab the minnows, put them in this cup and then we're gonna go upstairs and just put them in the tank. This is what these little fish look like. They're just tiny little mosquito fish. And yeah, we got half of them. Half of them are alive and half are like dead. So we're just gonna take the dead ones out. Okay, so we made it to the tank. They're hiding in the back. I don't know if they're gonna be calm enough 
are ready to eat yet because usually when you first put fish in tanks they're really stressed out so we'll see if they eat let's just get a couple of these live ones and put them in the tank guys i got one live fish i'm gonna put this in and see how these peacock react boom he is in oh my god he's hungry dang he ate it that was sick oh my gosh wow they ate first time i've seen them eat that is insane dude stop making so much noise all right guys second live mosquito fish let's put this one in boom he's in oh my god that big pea just ate both of them it was insane another one guys let's drop this in Wow, the big one ate all of them. The little guy is not getting anything. All right, we're gonna try something here. This is one of the dead ones. We'll see if he's willing to eat it. All right, here you go, buddy. And he did, he ate it. He ate the dead one. I'm gonna try putting two in at the same time. They're both dead though. Wow, that big one is just destroying them. Guys, the big one is going crazy on them. The little guy does not ate anything. Oh, the little one ate one. There you go, he finally got one. This other minnow is like way over here. The big one's looking at it. Come on, buddy. You know you want it. Okay. He does not want it. All right, here we go, guys. Last live mosquito fish I have. I think he's alive. Oh my God, yeah, he's alive. Wow. And he got destroyed. That was insane. Dude, that big one's getting fat now. Oh, no. Did the little one get that? This one's way over here. Oh, the little one just got another one. So I forgot to mention that I actually released my bluegill. I was worried about him because he did not look that good. And I thought he maybe had a disease and I didn't want to risk him infecting my peacock. So I just went ahead and released him. And yeah, I'll show you guys a couple clips from that right now. Guys, I got this bluegill for my tank. But as you can see, there's something white growing by his tail. And there's also something on his nose. And I hooked him on the other side of the mouth. So I'm not sure what that is. Guys, his eyes also look cloudy. And I don't know if you can see that. But where I think that's where I hooked him. But there's a piece of skin hanging off his mouth. Thank you guys for all the comments about naming them. The big one. I'm going to decide to call Joe, and the little guy I've named Junior. So yeah, thanks for the comments, those are the names, and yeah, the tank looks great. Alright guys, that is going to do it for the video. I actually did not expect them to eat right away, because I just put them in. But yeah, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode.